アンソニーとしても知られているザ・スーパービッランマイケルとしても知られているザ・ミラクルラシダオンレビュートランスフォーマーズリバーステーションフォーザプレイステーション3 Hey guys, it's Anthony, and today we're going to talk about one of the most anticipated games of 2015, Transformers Devastation. Now, a lot of people are excited for it because they're using the Gen 1 models and going away from their third person shooting, grimy, blah, blah, blah. And despite being a fan of that, I'm here to tell you guys whether or not this new entry is worth your time. Because it could just be a lot of flash and no substance, or this could be one of the greatest games of 2015. We'll talk about which it is. So, first, we're going to talk about the story. So, Megatron, as Megatron does, has concocted a plan to cyber form the Earth and turn it into another Cybertron. The Autobots, of course, are out to stop him. Doing, doing so will release the Insecticons, big convoluted plot. Megatron laughs at the Autobots. Autobots succeed, probably. I mean, it's, it's like watching an episode, or rather, playing an episode of the old Transformer games. That's really all we're looking at here. And that's not a bad thing, because it goes along with the theme I feel this game is going for. It's no super complicated plot. There is no big twist like, oh, Optimus, actually, you've been helping me the whole time. Ha ha ha. Or nothing really convoluted like that. It's very simple. It's to the point. It's enjoyable. And simple and to the point is going to be a theme of this. So you're gonna, you may hear me say that a lot. Don't be surprised if you do. Next. So, next, let's talk about the gameplay. You play as five Autobots Optimus, Bumblebee, Wheeljack, Sideswipe, and Grimlock. The only three keeping the first four I mentioned different is the fact that they have their own special abilities and the fact that, you know, their names. After that, the weapons are pretty interchangeable, with the exception of Optimus, because I believe he's the only one who can use axes. Don't hold me to that statement because I really didn't play with Optimus. My personal favorites were Bumblebee and Wheeljack. Anywho, I didn't mention Grimlock because Grimlock is special, but not in a good way. He doesn't transform into a car, he transforms into a giant clunky dinosaur. And I don't like playing as him. I don't like Grimlock. I like nothing about Grimlock besides his personality. Now that we've talked about how much I don't like Grimlock, let's talk about the rest of this game. So, each weapon, they come with different abilities, different stats. You can boost those stats. You can also use your money to buy items. You can use it to create tech that gives you passive abilities. It's very platinum esque. You get weapons and items and such, you get to upgrade them. It's, it's an, you know what? I would almost say it's Bayonetta with a Transformer skin. There. That's about the best I can put it. Because the comboing is fluid, it's great, it feels impactful. You feel like you're playing something not Transformers. Because as you know, the Transformers, they're not very agile. But you wouldn't know it playing this. It's fun, it's exploitable, it's great. I think so, anyway. It even comes with its own witch time called Focus, where you dodge at the right time, time slows down for a bit, and you get to wail on your opponents. It's pretty great. If you've played any platinum action game, you've played Transformers. And that is nowhere near a bad thing. Playing this game is amazing. My only gripes, and there's only two really. One, the camera cannot keep up more often than not, especially when you're in car mode. Well, vehicle mode. Stupid Grimlock. It can't really keep up with you. It uh, it spazzes out from time to time, and well, it's an action game, and sometimes cameras don't keep up, which is why I wish it had a lock-on system. It lacks a lock-on system, and that's gripe number one. Gripe number two 
is the side missions that suddenly decide that a top-down perspective is best for this game. It's weird because now you're going from that fast-paced action and the camera is fixed and it's just it's weird it's something to get used to but it feels like it really breaks up the pace of the game at least for me and to be honest the pacing of the game isn't exactly its best it's, it's literally you go through missions you jump through buildings you go through another mission where you beat up x amount of robots you go through running around and collecting stuff then they see you know another battle maybe a sub boss battle i mean it's not bad, but when you have more to break up the pace after it's created one, it just gets a little weird. And it may steer some way, but it shouldn't. It's not that bad. All right, with that said, let's move on to audio visuals. Now, audio visuals is going to be pretty quick. Um, if you can't tell by looking at the review, it's a beautiful game. It's a very, very beautiful game. Even on the PS3, which is what I played it on, I've seen footage of it on PS4 and PC, and I won't say it looks exactly the same, because it does look a teensy bit upscaled to those who look for things like 1080p graphics and all that and fanciness. And well enough, the PS3, while it has a slowdowns, most of the time ran at 60 frames per second, which is one of the bigger things that people seem to, you know, care about these days is does it run at 60 frames? And I can see why it makes for a much more fluid game. So for those who care about it, no matter which version you're on, you will get 60 frames. Just know that the PS3 one does come with some slowdowns when there's a ton of action on the screen. But it's not very often that enough action gets on the screen that you can't, you know, that you get that slowdown. As far as the audio, voices, beautiful. It's as cheesy as it's always been, and it's just beautiful. It's amazing. Mega, whoever wrote Megatron's lines deserve a medal. Whoever, the, whoever wrote the script for this game deserves so many awards. And whoever did the voice direction, they deserve even more. Because this, hearing the cutscenes and things, it's, it's great. It, it was... It was like watching an episode happen before I had to play it. It's Optimus sounds as duty filled as ever. Megatron sounds evil. Starscream sounds like a punk. Everybody just sounds the way they should. And to even make that statement, I had to go back and watch Generation 1 episodes to make sure, okay, these guys sound apart, even though Starscream sounds different, but he still sounds like he should, which is great. Only gripes I have is with the environment. Now, I don't gripe about this a lot in many games, but when I get to the point where I don't feel like I'm jumping on buildings, rather I'm jumping on squares, it gets to be a little um, noticeable and pressing. Not to mention the fact that I spend a lot of time in the city, so I notice it, and it gets to be... Eh. Other than that, great. And the background music, almost forgot that. It's it's so good. It's, it pumps you up and gets you ready to fight. But then when it goes out, you get like some weird ambiance music. It's, it's strange. I really don't know how to describe it, but it's really passive. But the action music, great. Those guitars and just shredding and makes you feel like you're just, oh, it's, it's beautiful. Mwah. Just, ugh. So, now that we've gotten all that out of the way, let's talk on this conclusion. Is Transformers a great game? Yes. Is it going to be game of the year? No. Is it perfect? No. Should you buy it? Yes. There are some gripes, there are some missteps I feel like that were taken, but let's face it, this is a great game for any person who likes action games, for any person who likes Transformers, and for people who are of both camps. This game was a very solid effort to bring back the spirit of Generation 1 Transformers. And I like it. I love it, actually. It, I, I can only say so few things about it that are bad. And those few things are nitpicks, really. It doesn't really destroy the core game, but it does interrupt what this game is supposed to be about. Beautifully voice acted, beautiful music when you're in the action, 
it's just it's a great heart pumping game if you get excited about machines bashing each other over the head with you know weapons and things oh and i still don't like grimlock hate grimlock he's like the worst thing about this game all that said i am going to give this game a solid b plus the only thing that held it back in my eyes no lock on that weird music that's playing when you're not in the action and grimlock so stay tuned for more from us and um i will see you guys later hey guys thanks for watching the video please subscribe um like and comment and you can check us out on facebook there's a link below and on twitter and don't forget to subscribe um tell your friends your senpais your oni chans and everyone else that you love about restaurant radio and all our videos thanks for watching and we'll see you next time